All right, so in this video, I wanna go over a few sound options that you have when you're gonna be filming. And I'll just kinda of share with you some of the equipment that I use that's worked really well for me in this video. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go through those four types of audio capturing that you will be considering when doing your next video. Option number one is the easiest option and that's gonna be whatever's in your camera, right? So most cameras come with some kind of onboard microphone, it's an internal microphone to the recorder. Now the reason why most filmmakers do not use this is because it can be very noisy. It's gonna catch pretty much all the sound in the room. It's gonna catch the air conditioner, it's gonna catch the echo. If you've got sound bouncing off the walls, it just doesn't sound very good. Uh, so that's why most people who are creating either blogs or films or videos or whatever they're doing, they're typically not going to use the camera that comes with the microphone. So what are your other options? Well, I'm going to go over a few options that you may want to consider. Option number one is going to be having some type of external microphone. And in this case, I'm going to talk first about the one that I'm using right now. It's the Hollyland uh, Max Duo wireless system. And so this particular one comes with two microphones that look just like the one I have on my chest here. Uh, you, that way you can interview someone. So if you have someone else on camera or if you're doing a skit and it has just two people, it's a very convenient system to use. Why? Because this wirelessly connects real time to the camera. So right now, I'm able to transmit the sound for myself, even though there's no cords between us, I'm able to transmit that sound right into the camera. There's no extra work. When I go back on the back end, the edit, it's already lined up, makes it very easy. So a lot of filmmakers like to use wireless mics that plug right into your camera. So that, I would say that's probably option number one. Now, some other options to consider, which also work extremely well, is gonna be my second option, which is the Zoom F2 BT lavalier microphone system. I happen to have two of these, so if I am gonna do an interview, I do have two of them to run the interview with. These are very, very effective. One of the things I like about this particular uh, microphone system, it's non-clippable. So it's got the technology inside. When you're recording, if a loud noise happens, if it's a loud clank or a horn or whatever the case is, it's not gonna clip the microphone. If for some reason someone gets too close to the microphone or they cough or anything like that, it doesn't clip out the microphone. Uh, so it's very convenient in that way. Uh, so I like this microphone and I'm gonna demonstrate this one in just a few minutes. The third option that I wanna to present to you is the shotgun option. This is a shotgun microphone. Most of the TV shows and movies that you watch, they probably use some sort of a boom mic uh, with a shotgun on the end of it, okay? This is one of them. Uh, this is the one that I use, it's a Sennheiser MKE 600. Uh, I like this microphone a lot. Uh, so what you're gonna usually use it with is I usually have it on a boom. Uh, usually it's about this far from the person. It might be here, might be to the side, maybe it's more than one person, but uh, it's probably gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of about maybe 12 to 24 inches away from their mouth. So the challenge there is that you're not able to get this microphone as close to the mouth as you would like, but the sound is very clear and it's very focused. That's why they call it a shotgun mic because it points directly to uh, the sound that you wanna catch, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate all three of these for you so you can get a better idea. There is another option I do wanna share with you that I also use from time to time. If I know I can get really close to the camera, then the one I have right here, which I'm not gonna to demonstrate today, but this one here is also very useful. It's the on-camera uh, Sony shotgun mic. So as you can see, it's very slim, it's very short, very easy to pop on. It goes directly into the camera. It's really not, you can't put it on a boom, right? You can't use it on a boom, it has to be on the camera. So in that case, it's not as good, but it is pretty good if you're doing some vlogging or if you're gonna be pretty close to the camera. I'm not gonna demonstrate that one. Let me demonstrate the three other options besides just using your in-camera audio, okay? So, just for reference, right now, we are using the Hollyland Max Duo wireless system. So that's what I'm talking right now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch and we're gonna plug in the F2 BT microphone. All right, let's do that now. So now I have plugged in the F2 BT microphone. It's right here. The lavalier microphone is right here. It's plugged right into this. Now normally, I wouldn't put it into this. I would actually record it right into this. Um, so it's not 100% what I would do, 
but it does give an idea for comparison purposes. Right now I'm speaking into the F2 BT uh, recorder microphone. All right, so let's try the Sennheiser. So this is my third option. This is the Sennheiser. So I'm gonna put it a little bit of distance away from my mouth. This is typically about how far it would be, either here or here. And so you can get an idea of the sound of the mic. I'm kind of moving around a little bit because if you're following them on a boom, it might not be perfect. You know, you want to try and get it somewhere in this area where it's pointing towards a person's mouth uh, or at least in front of their mouth where the sound will be carrying. This is what it sounds like with this plugged in. All right. So that's all three of them. So that's this one here. Now we're back to the Hollyland microphone, Hollyland wireless microphone. So hope that gives you an idea between those three. Uh, I would suggest to think about your environment, where you're going to be filming in. If you're doing an interview environment where they're going to be pretty well stationary, uh, is the room quiet or is it outside? Think about all those different factors. If you have a potential for a lot of loud noises to happen, if it's very, very noisy, I would probably suggest the F2 BT microphone. It works extremely well in very, very loud, loud and noisy situations. If it's relatively calm, or if it's a situation where there's not a lot of loud noises, uh, if it's, it's not extreme, I would say go ahead and use the wireless one because it's gonna, it's gonna take a step out of your workflow uh, it's going to automatically line up the sound for you and the sound quality is very good and even inside it works extremely well when it comes to things like AC units and fans going that kind of make noise it kind of helps to drown out some of those sounds if you have the noise cancellation on now if you want more true to life sound like you're in the room with the person and you've got a couple of people that are in the shot and you want to get some nice good clean sound um, then I would say probably think about using the boom mic I would say probably use the boom mic uh, and that's just taking a play from the playbook of most TV shows uh, and movies. They use boom mics, uh, and, and that's what they use to capture a lot of the action, a lot of the sound. All right, so hopefully watching this helps you to figure out what's gonna be best for your recording environment. Of course, if we were to work with you, we have all those options available, depending on uh, what the setup is like for what you're trying to do. Let me know in the comments what type of equipment you're using, which one you prefer, what types of environments you're doing it in. If I missed anything, please let me know. I'd love to hear back. I wanna make these things as best as I possibly can. So I'd love to hear back from you. Please be sure and like and subscribe so you'll be notified. Make sure the bell is also turned on so the next time I have a video come out, you'll be able to see it first. Thanks for watching.